first location. Hard hitting news folks, I am going to be taste testing the best ice cream in Seattle. Who made up this list? I did. to local in Seattle. I'm your host Kelly Hansen and I am so excited for this video. I have the world's biggest sweet tooth and this video is going to help that. I am giving you the best places in Seattle to get ice cream. It is riveting stuff, hard hitting news. I'm bringing it to you and our first stop brings us to Capitol Hill to Salt and Straw. This is going to be good. I am starving so I'm prepared essentially. Let's go in. I'm the general manager here for the Capitol Hill Salt and Straw location. It's a Portland-based company. We basically operate a small batched ice cream business. We come out with new flavors every single month. Right now we have the Berries, Berries, Berries series. I really love the sea salt with caramel ribbons. That one's definitely my all-time favorite. It's actually the first flavor that Salt and Straw ever came out with. You know, our cones are something that definitely drives our, you know, shop. We have so many people that come in saying like, wow, I smelled your cones coming from a mile away or a block away. Is that called anything? Oh. Just like the cone shaper? The cone shaper. Yeah, I but like that. that. That's good, right? I feel like there's no way anyone walking in here can be in a bad mood because it smells amazing <laughs> and you get to taste ice cream. So I'm in a really good mood. I'm excited. And you're going to have me taste test like all the things, all right? Everything. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go. Where we keep our ice cream. Oh my god. Okay, the sea salt and caramel is 10 out of 10. Oh my god, spoon chew. Here you go. That's a good scoop, Brie. Yeah. Berry, berry, berry. So we'll start off with the goat cheese with Marion Berry habanero. So. so this is gonna be spicy potentially a little. It's, a, it's like a subtle spice. It's subtle. really nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> subtle, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling the spice on that one. Oh no. <laughs> Sadly, my spoon is empty after like 16 taste tests. Those were all absolutely incredible. You have to run here to try the berries. Berries, berries series. Berries, berries, berries series. Three berries. The berries, berries, berries series. Come here. Get some swag, taste test all the things, and meet Brie. We are at the second location on my ice cream tour, the best of the best, and I am all the way in West Seattle, and it was a journey to get here, but I am told it is so worth it. If you haven't heard of Moto Pizza and Ice Cream, you're going to after this. The pizza is incredible. It's Kind of hard to get, sells out. They actually do all of their orders online. I'll have more of that information in the YouTube description. But I'm here for their ice cream. They have eight rotating flavors and the cone, okay? It's like this sugary cinnamon goodness. It looks like a donut. So I want to hear more about this and obviously I want to taste test this for myself. So let's go in. It's in the cutest little house. Hi, my name's Lee Kendall. I'm owner of Moto and I'm just a simple pizza craftsman. I would say that we're an odd pizza and that stems from my culmination of all my pizza making and it comes together in kind of a grandma Detroit Sicilian style square and I wanted something fun to go with it and I came upon ice cream. I decided to do a soft serve with some unique flavors and add some cones that we bake fresh here every day and that's called a chimney cake or a Kurtzos Kolach that comes from Europe and I make my own waffle cones too. I think the most popular is like butter pecan, uh, we have an orange cream sickle, uh, a blueberry blue goo that's like a cotton candy. We got a second location coming downtown in Belltown and uh, hopefully that kind of eases up on the long wait for the pizzas, but the ice cream, we can do any day. Come on by and have ice cream any day. I'm so excited to try all of these flavors and this cone. You're a legend, let's go. <laughs> Taste test of the ice cream. <laughs> the pizza was so good and the ice cream is 10 out of 10. It's so creamy, it's delicious. I'm hooked. Number seven, 
hope you're still watching, thank you. Orange creamsicle. Oh my lord. This is my Kryptos Kolach, which is a chimney cake. Um, this has chocolate, and then I got fruity pebbles on here. These are my little ube sticks. There's green apple, black cherry, and orange creamsicle on this one. This here is my crazy one for adventurers. This is gonna be black garlic wasabi waffle cone uh, with dipped in chocolate with coconut, a butter pecan. The sprinkles on here are actually fried chicken skin. And then I'm gonna finish it with my homemade garlic chili crisp. Um, I make this garlic chili crisp and it's pretty insane. It has 21 ingredients in it. What I do is I top it on here. And this is how I finish this. Taste test time. I don't know if you can see that cone in there. It looks like a donut. He put chili oil on this. What in the world? Those are flavors that I've never tasted before between each other. The butter pecan ice cream is amazing. And that like spicy oil and literally chicken. Brain freeze. Lee is a legend. I've said it before. His pizza is amazing. But he is now the ice cream king in my opinion. Run here to my next stop. If I can do it. We'll do it. Cheers. Okay, I had to show you the cone at the bottom. <laughs> it is so freaking good. It tastes like a cinnamon donut. Okay, I am at my last stop actually in Upper Queen Anne at Molly Moon's Ice Cream. I absolutely love this place and I love that all of their shops are in amazing neighborhoods. This one in particular is near one of my favorite spots, Cary Park. If you haven't been there, grab an ice cream cone and go there and walk around. So without further ado, let's taste test. So Molly Moon is like a, one of the first gourmet ice cream shop opening in Seattle like in uh, since 2008. And then all the uh, ice cream we make is like a, almost like a homemade ice cream and it's fresh, uh, all made in our back of the house. We have 14 flavors. Uh, we have our seasonal flavors and our seasonal flavors are like changing every four weeks. We have sundaes and we have one scoop, two scoops, and then we have pints. But for our best seller, it's Yeti cookies and cream and cookie dough and then also melted chocolate that's one thing I do truly believe that ice cream make you happy which is like in our like uh, merchandise I feel like ice cream bring the whole community together how many do you make a day would you say 200 200 taste test time I'm so excited to try all of the seasonal flavors they gave me the vegan chocolate so love that there's vegan options vanilla latte blueberry pie and cherry chunk Oh my gosh. I never thought I would say this, but this vegan chocolate ice cream is 10 out of 10. The strawberry hard shell, that really takes it to another level. Blueberry pie, cherry chunk, vanilla latte. Mm. So creamy, so delicious. Everything isn't overly sweet or overpowering. It's just like the creamiest, most delicious ice cream. Before, I fill up way too much. We're gonna try something that I feel like they're super known for, their sundaes, because you can literally put a million toppings on it. 10 out of 10. If I could give it a 15 out of a 10, I would. Okay, thank you so much to Molly Moons in Queen Anne. That was seriously epic. I met some people from New York in there too who were absolutely adorable and told them to go to Cary Park and bring their ice cream. So pro tip again, if you liked this video, hit that like and subscribe. Thank you for supporting my channel and I will see you in the next adventure. Bye. Lastly, one more and honorable mention, Shug's Downtown at Pike Place. This spot has epic ice cream creations that'll keep you coming back. Okay, bye for real now.